Welcome to the Refund Request Automation Demo. Imagine a customer purchases your product, but unfortunately they are not satisfied, so they request a refund. Today your refund process has several manual steps, and when there's a high volume of refunds this leads to slow completion time, inconsistent customer communication, and higher error costs. You'd like to increase straight through processing with automation to save time, money, and customer frustration. Reviewing the Focus Corp Demos dashboard, we see a text summary describing the demo, a discovery map diagram, and a flow diagram for our reference. Okay, let's launch the demo. We start by becoming the customer. From the Focus Corp Retail Your Returns and Refunds portal, we select one of our recent orders and submit a return. The result is approved with an expected date to receive the funds. We select and submit another order for refund. But before we submit, let's take a peek behind the form at some of the business rules. A few of the fields are used by a set of business rules to make the refund decision, and we see those here. This refund request results in a denial, but it is still straight through processing without any manual work. Upon selecting a final third order, the rules this time are not certain and send the refund request off to a human queue for manual investigation. This bottom investigation branch of the straight through process can utilize significant resources. A few manual refunds are not a problem for the team, but too many will cause delays and our customer satisfaction will go down. The operations specialist reviews the refund dashboard powered by Business Automation Insights, and we see not only the percentage of manually processed requests is high at more than 67%, but the average manual investigation time across all requests is more than two hours. They pass their findings to the rule manager to take action. As a rule manager, we have access to the decision model behind our refund process. The data is passed from the process system to the rules in the form of an order and a refund request. This moves through various decision tables, including a time window validation table that deals with the return reason, the days since delivery, and the condition of the goods. In combination, these lead to various processing decisions, and we see a few that result in manual processing listed here. Another decision table deals with the type of goods and may also result in some manual processing. Finally, these are combined with a simple text rule to make the final decision. The rules manager drafted up a new branch of the decision model with some updates. Let's take a look. To reduce manual processing, the rules manager adjusted the tables to remove some of the manual processing decisions. Comparing the two versions shows that row 3, column 3 moved from manual to denied, for example. Other rows were removed altogether, which results in a default approved decision. We could also test and simulate the rule changes and compare historical results, but we won't cover that here in this demo. After the rules manager deploys the new rules, let's go back to being a customer and try them out. Submitting the same order as before, which resulted in a manual result in the past, is now approved. After these new rules are in place for a week, the operations specialist sees some solid improvement, with a reduction in half for manual requests and also lower manual processing time on average, from above 120 down to only 60 minutes. With combined workflow and decision automation, both capabilities within the IBM Cloud Pack for Automation, and updated business rules, we reduced manual processing queues significantly. Increased straight through processing results in lower average completion time, lower costs, and a more consistent communication with the customer throughout the process. Now our processors can truly increase customer satisfaction. Check out more demos like this one and learn more about Cloud Pack for Automation at the link in the description below.